So I'm David Wall and it's my great pleasure to be the new principal here at Great Academy Ashton. Um, I've been a head teacher for far too many years now, um, previous head teacher of a school in Stockport or just south of Stockport and also a trust leader of a multi-academy trust where we had two secondary schools, three primary schools and two nursery provisions. Um, I'm a dad. Uh, four children, four boys, bless them, they're all teenagers, and I uniquely and, and very much understand the challenges of educating four boys um, and, and family life. And what I'm, what I'm really here to do is to genuinely transform the lives of our young people. And they bring with them their hopes, their dreams, their aspirations, their frustrations, sometimes their disengagement, but often really what they hope to achieve. And our job here at Great Academy is to make them the best possible versions of themselves. Um, I've been a long time in education, um, countless years. Then I know I look 21, but really I'm a little bit older than that. Um, and I have a lot of experience around supporting schools and supporting people and young people particularly to be the best possible versions of themselves. I've supported school transformation for a number of schools and really at the heart of all of that is the transformation of a community. You know, a school is the beating heart of a community and I see my job is to make sure that that heart is healthy it's beating strongly and that every young person that we have in our care jumps in with both feet, does the best they possibly can in every aspect of their school life. My key priorities here at Great Academy Ashton, primarily, first and foremost, in these times, safety. We, we are in the middle of the, the, the greatest change to humankind there has ever been, the greatest challenge to humankind there's ever been, and it's safety. It's safety of all of our students and all of our staff in these COVID times. And that is safety about um, health and safety and virus protection and so on. But it's also safety about their mental health, their well-being, their resilience, um, their, their part of a community. And let's not forget 2021 is going to go down in history as a gap in learning. So priority number one is to pull back the missing year. And how do we pull that missing year back? And so a lot of those priorities are around there. There's two other main priorities that will underline everything I do. First and foremost, teaching and learning. That my priority is the principal, as the head teacher of this academy, is to make sure that my staff, our staff, have got the right tools on their tool belt to engage young people in the classroom. And we've started that already. We hit the ground running last Monday. And it's all about making sure that when they've decided what it is they want the young people to learn, they have the tools by which to help them learn that the best. The second priority is a student-focused priority, and it's participate and celebrate. I want our students to know how we are as a school, how we're celebrating them, and they will have every opportunity to participate. So they're going to earn their colours. They're going to earn their colours whether or not it be on the sporting field, the debating society, the cookery club, the reading group, the ambassadors for subjects. But every child in our school is going to earn their colours and have pride and participation in our school. There'll not be a place anywhere in our school where you cannot see how our children are being celebrated. And one of the simple ways of putting that is when we have parents evening, I want every child to be able to take their parent, their mum, their dad, their uncle, their carer, whoever it is, and walk to somewhere in school and go, there, that's where my school manifestly, physically celebrates me. I am the best version of myself because this is my school, I'm part of this family, and we are celebrating that together.